It was just an ordinary day's work in Florida for this female commercial photographer in late 2017. All was normal until she heard the unnerving noise. It sounded like a terrified creature in extreme distress. But where was the sound coming from? She felt that she could not just ignore it. But when the woman who depends on her eyes for her living tracked the disturbance to its source, she could not believe what she saw. The woman in question was Tampa resident Rebecca Cruz, who runs a photo business in the city, specializing in real estate and wedding portfolios. Indeed, it was her real estate work that led Cruz to be shooting stills in Dade City, Pasco County, December 2017. To be more precise, the photographer was taking exterior shots of a property near the U.S., Route 301 Highway, when something made her pause. A noise distracted Cruz from her work, and it was more than a little disturbing. She discussed what happened with local TV channel Fox 13. I just heard a very loud cry, but it was a distress call. From what she heard, however, she instantly knew it wasn't human and it wasn't good. You could tell the animal was hurt and in pain. As an animal lover, the photographer felt compelled to track down the source. So Cruz tracked down the noise, and she realized it was growing louder as she approached the train tracks. Then she saw something moving in the weeds by the rails and saw what was making these pitiful sounds. They were coming from a tiny puppy, partially concealed in undergrowth. I found her huddled up in there, Cruz recounted, but when the photographer had gotten closer to the pup, she noticed something sickening. When I went to grab her, she was attached to the ground with something. It appeared that someone did not want the puppy going anywhere. Whoever had been responsible for the puppy's plight had tied a length of string to its bent leg, attached it to the rail tracks. Not only was the animal tiny, she couldn't have been more than a few days old. The dog still had a piece of umbilical cord attached when Cruz discovered her. Luckily, the puppy Savior worked as a volunteer for the Owl's Nest Animal Rescue Sanctuary in Tampa Bay. Cruz knew just how to take care of the traumatized little pup and immediately set about untying her. After, Cruz was able to use her contacts to call someone suitable for additional help. The photographer's friend Deidre Oakley also volunteered as a rescuer and was quick to heed the call. The two women set about fixing the physical and emotional upheaval the newborn puppy had undergone. The dog-saving duo also gave her a name, Polka Dot, after noticing a distinctive dot pattern on the puppy's back. Concerned of Polka Dot's bent leg, Cruz and Oakley took the puppy to a local vet. But after a checkup, the animal professional concluded the pup's limb had sustained no serious damage. Polka Dot had not broken anything during her ordeal. However, she was found to be suffering from another issue, and it was only one that any newborn pup would have. That's to say, the puppy was very thirsty. Being torn away from the sustenance of her mother's milk meant that poor little Polka Dot was positively dehydrated. Aside from that, and the trauma of being left for dead, the pup had a lucky escape. Cruz and Oakley thought that Polka Dot was a Pitbull mixed breed. While we can only speculate, it's not unreasonable to assume that Polka Dot's breeding maybe had something to do with her cruel abandonment. After all, Pitbulls have a sometimes undeserved reputation. The breed has a high desire to please, and sadly, in many cases, owners take advantage of this trait and train the dogs for violence. Not only that, animal shelters are full of this breed. This is in part because of the consequence of the large volume of pit bulls spread in the U.S. It's also due to unscrupulous and unlicensed backyard breeders who make a living from selling the dogs and abandoning unwanted pups. Whatever the reason for being abandoned, Cruz was rightfully disgusted at Polka Dot's treatment. It made me sick to my stomach. I was shaking, she told Fox News. But more than that, the animal lover was worried for the rest of Polka Dot's family. Cruz said, it broke my heart and really concerns me about these other puppies, the mom too. Oakley also had her worries about the deeply troubling behavior of Polka Dot's tormentors. She was perturbed over the state of mind anyone capable of such terrible animal cruelty. There's part of me that wants to pray for the soul of that person that could do this, Oakley told Fox. She continued, if it's a child, I'm very concerned about the adult they're going to become, and if it's an adult, then they need to be dealt with. Consequently, Cruz and Oakley alerted the Pasco County Sheriff's Office about the incident. The pair hope that detectives will be able to crack down the culprit or culprits and bring them to justice. Although Polka Dot had been found in time and rescued, her story still wasn't over. She now needed a loving home. In the meantime, Oakley took on the role of foster mom and remarked on how the little pup is very much a survivor. She's very vocal and strong and a good eater, Oakley told Fox News. These are all encouraging signs in a young pup who suffered so much like Polka Dot. 
Although nothing is official, Oakley feels that Polka Dot's charms may just prove too hard for the animal lover to resist. Holding the puppy, Oakley admitted to the news cameras, I'll probably fall in love with her and she'll be my fourth dog. Could it be that the remarkable pup has already found her forever home? We can only hope that the forces of law and order find Polka Dot's abusers to prevent such heartless cruelty happening again. However, the most important thing is that the little pup has recovered and is flourishing in a loving environment. And it's all thanks to the heartwarming kindness of two compassionate strangers who refuse to see a little life go off the rails.